I don't discriminate. Later in the hour. Right First, here. We turn to these family Christmas cards oh from God. right wingers glorifying gun violence wow. at a time like this. Accountability next. That is so cringy and so embarrassing, and it gives Republicans, conservatives, Trump supporters a bad name, and I felt compelled to point out that that is not the norm, that I, a Trump supporter conservative who the left-wing media did hit jobs on me saying I'm like an extremist or I'm all this nonsense that I'm not, I look at that, and I see... Just such an embarrassment. It's cringy, it's pathetic, it's disgusting, and it's obviously nothing more than a political statement for this guy to appease a portion of his base, the constituents that are Second Amendment gun nuts. And this is middle of America, and this is not the norm for conservatives, Republicans, Trump supporters, because from California to Florida, there are plenty of level-headed, knowledgeable, articulate people like me that believes in common sense gun laws, that this kind of shit, this kind of weapon shouldn't exist, that the Constitution never foresaw this kind of fucking gun being created, okay? You were supposed to be able to protect your home with a bullet, with a gun, with a regular gun, not a freaking machine gun used for the military. This is disgusting, and it's it's this is this is how they bond for the for the holidays. This is the holiday spirit, arming your children with guns. It's it's so unnatural. Look at them. Look at their look at the oh yay! I'm so happy. I'm holding my huge gun. What are you gonna do with your guns? What are you all holding? Your, it just doesn't even look natural. It looks so scripted. It's obviously a political statement, and it's the it's cringy to the max. And I'm just putting on the record that I, Cole Bartiromo, owner of Newsball.com, doesn't stand for this kind of politics, this kind of conservatism, this kind of freaking redneck, gun nut, Second Amendment bullshit. <laughs>